By now, I'm sure that you've seen the trend that has been blowing up, which is trying to wake up at 5 a.m. This is supposed to increase your productivity, give you a boost in confidence, lead to better concentration, improved health, and has a lot of other benefits. I'm here to see if waking up at 5 a.m. is really worth it. I want to go back to bed. I can't believe I chose to wake up right now. Hello everyone. If you couldn't tell, I'm waking up at 5 a.m. today and seeing if it's really worth it. My eyes look extra puffy because I watched the last episode of The Vampire Diaries last night and I was indeed crying quite a bit. I was also chowing down on a whole bunch of high chews last night because I was just kind of sad and having a bad day and that is what I chose to do. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I try to do like a 5 to 10 minute workout every morning, at least during the week. But since I have so much time this morning, I thought I would try to do a longer like 35 to 45 minute workout. And I'm actually going to put workout clothes on for once. I always just wear what I was sleeping in, but we're going to put proper workout clothes to help get into the right mindset. And so, yeah, let's go. I am so tired right now and honestly all I want to do is go back and crawl into my bed. There is something that I've been taking the last three days that I think will really help me right now and that is this productivity shot. This is by the brand Magic Mind. By the way, the packaging so cute. This little shot will do so much more for you than just a cup of coffee in the morning or even an energy drink for that matter. It has way more benefits. You're not going to have a caffeine crash. I feel like a lot of people are in the same spot as me when I say I struggle with procrastination. I've always struggled with my focus as well. There are like vitamins you can take with fish oil which is supposed to help improve how well you focus. So I used to take it for school and I never found that did anything for me. And yes, I am guilty at times of having way too many cups of coffee, but instead of having now two cups of coffee, I can have this and a cup of coffee. This only takes five to like 15 minutes to kick in, so if you drink this right before a long workout like me, or right before you're about to have class for school, a study session, this will get you through that. There are natural nootropics in here, which helps to prevent impulsivity and boost productivity, along with a lot of other great ingredients which help with clarity and focus and energy and also helps to reduce stress. I have been really enjoying this lately. It has been helping me so much. I've already noticed a big improvement in my productivity. If say you're someone in school or you are just someone who really struggles with getting things done or you're really struggling through some anxiety right now, this is going to help you so much. Cheers! Also, if you're worried about the taste, I am someone who's really wimpy when it comes to like green juices. I always find they don't taste good, but this is actually good, so you can trust me on that, especially if you do like matcha. If you'd like to try out these shots yourself, you can check out the link in my description box and you can use code HARLEY20 for 20% off. All right, I found a workout. I'm going to be doing a full body, low impact, 35 minute workout. Is it sad I haven't done a workout this long in probably years? Maybe, but we're gonna do it today. You gotta start somewhere.
That was definitely the best workout I've done in a while. It was Pilates though, so it's getting into all those little muscles and it's more like tedious. That was a bit hard. I'm not gonna lie. I do really think that shot helped me get through that. I'm not that sweaty from my workout, but I still wanna just have a quick rinse in the shower just to feel refreshed this morning. And I'm gonna cleanse my face while I'm in the shower as well. So I think I'm gonna do this, put on just some comfy clothes, and then we're gonna make some breakfast. I always forget how refreshing showers are in the morning. And if you're brave, cold showers are even better. I'm just moisturizing my tattoo, which reminds me, I haven't shown you guys my new ones yet both of these are matching with my mom and my sister so we all got this little heart on our middle finger I'm gonna try to show I hope it's in focus then I got my crescent moon tattoo my mom got a Sun and then my sister did Saturn so they're like matching but different but if you want more like instant updates from me, make sure you're following my Instagram and my TikTok because I'm always posting on there and giving life updates. As you guys know, I've been eating a lot of like scrambled eggs with hot sauce and it's been my latest obsession. Food variety is not really my thing. I struggle with that. But yesterday I made this with like black beans and a little bit of like leftover rice and broccoli that we have and hot sauce obviously. It was super good so I'm I'm gonna do that again for breakfast today. So I just scrambled myself up some eggs, literally just threw in some of the black beans and a little bit of the leftover rice once the eggs were mostly cooked. Then I just stirred them all together, threw it in the bowl with some hot sauce. Super easy, took like maybe 10 minutes. And there you go, this is nice and healthy, high in protein, filling, perfect breakfast. Mmm. So good. Time for some journaling. I'm going to write in my five minute journal. Then I'm gonna write out any new plans that have come up in my calendar for the week. I need to now start getting into my skincare and doing my makeup for work. It is just after eight. I don't actually work until 11.15 today, but I have an eight hour shift, which I don't get too often. Also, my stomach is hurting. Oh my God. My body just really does not like when I have a proper meal in the morning. I have to have like a snack or else I am in pain like I am now. The last two days have not been the greatest. I've just not been feeling good and I've been not super anxious. Just, I don't know. I've just been kind of off the last two days, but I'm definitely feeling more myself today. Waking up early was definitely the way to go. Now I just got to hope for a good day at work. It is Tuesday, so it shouldn't be crazy busy, but honestly, I kind of like busier days over slow. is all done. It's just about nine. I have two hours until I have to go to work. I guess I could try reading for like an hour. Mm. All right, I got a couple things done for work. I have just over an hour, but I'm like, there's not that much I can do right now because I still have to, you know, get dressed, go to work. So I think I'm just gonna read. Okay. I know I have a long day ahead of me and this is just calling my name right now. It's super cute and pink. And I'm not that tired, but I haven't had coffee today, which if you know me, I don't go a single day without, oh geez. I don't go a single day without coffee and I don't want a caffeine headache at work and I wanted to try this instead. Yes, this is not great for me, but I've had a bad two days, so you know what? I deserve it. Mmm, that's actually really good. What? A sleigh. I'm just about halfway through my book. I've been using Goodreads lately and I've been updating what page I'm on every time after I read. It's very satisfying and I'm 48% done. I am going to set a timer. When I read and I know there's somewhere I have to be or I have to get ready for a certain time, I will set timers so I don't lose track of time. <laughs> I read 
most of the full chapter. I couldn't finish the full chapter because my brain's just not in a reading mood. Time to answer the question whether waking up at 5 a.m. is actually worth it. I feel like to give a full proper answer, I'd have to do this for a full week to really be able to tell. But just based off of today, if you have a really busy day or you have an early work day, I definitely think it is worth it. It 100% helped me feel more productive. I feel more awake. I feel much more motivated, inspired. I'm definitely noticing a boost in my mood. And I was able to be very productive today before going to work. But because I don't work today until 11.15, I think waking up at 5 a.m. was a bit unnecessary, especially because I I didn't have that much to do this morning. If I had like a whole bunch of work I needed to do, I could see it being more beneficial. Because I do start work later, I feel like I would have also benefited from an extra hour of sleep. Let me know if you want me to try waking up at 5 a.m. for a whole week. I feel like that would be hard, but also I feel like it could be good and it could be fun. Overall, if you're someone who likes to fit in a workout before you go to work, likes to make yourself a proper breakfast, or or if you have a really busy day and you're stressed and you want to get stuff done, waking up at 5 a.m. I think would really be able to help you out. The hardest part is that initial like getting out of bed. When your alarm goes off, like you feel so tired and it's so dark out. But as soon as you like get up, turn the lights on, make your bed, already in like those two minutes, you'll feel better, more awake. All right. That is the end of this week's video. I hope this was able to inspire you, motivate you, and honestly, if you have a busy day coming up, wake up at 5 a.m. See how you feel, see the difference it makes for you. I can definitely see the hype of why so many people have been doing this recently and why it's been such a big trend. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave a comment. I always look at those and I hope you have have a great rest of your day. Bye! And just a reminder, if you'd like to get yourself some Magic Mind productivity shots, I will have the link in my description box below and it is code HARLEY20 for 20% off. <laughs>